Well, Cravens Avenue was one of those uh, streets in the downtown area that was, I would say, dilapidated and uh, kind of forgotten. Uh, doing this project really changed the whole dynamics of the downtown area. It really kind of, you know, we always talk about re revitalization and it truly did revitalize the, the whole area. Downtown Torrance or Old Torrance, this area was established a long time ago. There's so much history here and it basically was the hustle and bustle of the city of Torrance. So we've been here since 1984 and the area sure has changed since when I was first here. Downtown Torrance, so beautiful, was deteriorating. There's challenges with the sidewalks not being ADA compliant. There were drainage issues and a number of businesses needed to have access from the sidewalk. And so when we did our design work, we needed to make sure that all of those criteria were met for dozens of businesses down this street. Because this is a historic district and the, there's many items here that need to be preserved. I'm actually sitting in one of them, the, uh, the Prado Park, and uh, much of our work had to do with coordinating with the work that had been done here 100 years ago. And also, a lot of the lighting, even though it's brand new lighting that's uh, shown, it did need to match uh, the rest of Old Torrance and the character of Old Torrance. The key to it really is, is having good software and capturing good data to do engineering work. So for us, open roads work great because um, not only are we capturing and trying to design the actual plan view or layout view of the street to join the adjoining streets and parks and buildings, but it also gives us the ability to look at the profile view of the street. And open roads was great because you could take that survey data, which is in a 3D model, and actually be able to put that information right into profiles to show how the existing joins with the new. We did all the utility systems all at the same time and we were able to use open flows to actually create a digital twin of the existing system that was there and then let the water department work with us to figure out what new pipes they wanted to do. One of the ways you can save costs and time on any project is to make sure that when you're designing it it's it's a set of plans that ends up being something that any con good contractor could pick up and build from and not have a lot of questions. I think the return on investment really showed when during the entire time in construction I literally did not get one call about the project. We actually were able to uh, cut the cost of the project by probably 50000 or so and this isn't a big project but we're able to do that because we're able to reuse a lot of the facilities uh, because we modeled it so well, we were able to figure out how to properly join, make them ADA compliant, able to save quite a bit of time because there was never any delays in construction. Doing this project really, uh, I think, brought a whole new look to the neighborhood, which ultimately is going to bring, uh, bring in businesses, shoppers, and it would actually increase, in my opinion, increase safety as well. Well, I feel like that Cravens project was really like a catapult to making downtown a walkable area. And just the way it looks, I think it's all about visualization when you look at different places. When it looks old and decrepit, people are not really willing to take a stroll down a street like that. But it looks beautiful with all the new lights and it's definitely accessible and walkable. The Cravens revitalization was really helpful for our business. It made it, again, more neighborhood friendly with access for safer bicycling. And the ADA's requirements with uh, making it more accessible to everybody really is like the frosting on the cupcake for me because we really need to be accessible to everybody here.